What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Sir Splash, and uh, this is a special video today. Now, recently, I've gained a few subscribers, which I'm grateful for, and this is mainly because they appreciate the videos I've made on Midnighter. Um, now, he, this character, Midnighter, is rarely used in YouTube debate communities, so this kind of makes my channel unique, which I love. And uh, one of my new subs, Sean Taylor, kind of hinted at wanting to see Midnighter's origin in a video. So uh, I love doing content that my subscribers want to see, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. So in this video, we're going to address exactly who is the Midnighter, uh, his multiple origins, as well as at the end, I will actually power scale him so you guys kind of get a hint at how strong he actually is. Now, Midnighter was created by one of the greatest comic writers in recent memory, Warren Ellis. If you don't know, this saint of a writer uh, wrote stories such as The Authority, Planetary, he reinvented The New Midnight, and he's worked on titles such as X-Men and Hellblazer, the John Constantine run. Now, Midnighter originally belonged to a team called Stormwatch, a team created and augmented by the madman Henry Bendix. Midnighter and Apollo were the only two to survive a mission that was supposed to end in the tragic deaths of all the members. Uh, both of these dudes spent roughly six years moving low-key in the streets and were trying to remain under the radar. The new Stormwatch contacted them and brought them in to help fight the old uh, Henry Bendix and his people. Now, since their pasts were quote-unquote erased, Midnighter and Apollo had the opportunity to start over. Now, what exactly can this Midnighter guy do? Well, from the start, Midnighter was built to be superior to pretty much any opponent in combat. He has a supercomputer installed in his brain, which allows him to analyze millions of combat situations before he actually engages a foe. He then conducts himself according to which situation is most likely to secure a W. He also was augmented with superhuman strength, speed, reflexes, senses, and given extra, extra organs to help keep him going if his body is compromised in a battle. He also has a mid-level healing factor. Now, Midnighter was originally a part of the Wildstorm universe. He was married to Apollo and is one of the rare gay superheroes. He and Apollo actually adopted the powerful Jenny Quantum as their child. While many compared Midnighter to Batman in the Wildstorm universe, I actually don't agree. Uh, besides the obvious difference in their belief on killing, Midnighter is above street level in my opinion and is superior to Batman in pretty much every category. Uh, now moving on to another origin which is post Flashpoint in DC, Midnighter was given a brand new story. This one showed him to be a young boy from Kosovo that was actually kidnapped kidnapped by aliens shaped like owls, hence his owl-like costume. Midnighter broke free after years of experiments and was left somewhat a head case from this traumatic experience. After returning, uh, this is when he would go on to hook up with Apollo. Flashpoint was used to actually combine the universes with DC, so DC was bringing in different universes. These branches were Vertigo with characters like John Constantine and of course Wildstorm, which I've mentioned before. The reason behind the combination was to combine forces to face whatever threats endangered Earth. This was kind of what was given as an excuse to bring them in. As far as his DC run, we first see Midnighter with Stormwatch. Here he helps recruit the powerhouse Apollo. A year later, in an Aliens crossover event, Stormwatch is wrecked and left with several dead members. A year after this event, Jenny Sparks reforms a team and names the new team The Authority, which I consider to be a classic uh, run on stories. This team includes Midnighter, Jenny, Apollo, the God of Cities, Jack Hawksmore, Swift, and the Engineer, as well as the Doctor. So, who is Lucas Trent, who you might have heard of if you've heard of uh, Midnighter? Well, because of his qualms with not knowing his background, Jenny gets help to kind of inform Midnighter of who he originally was. She tells him he was originally Lucas Trent from Indiana. When Midnighter goes to investigate this backstory, he finds out that Lucas Trent was a good, nice man. Uh, Midnighter calls bullshit on this backstory because he himself is an asshole. This is kind of funny. 
but he doesn't get mad about being given a fake identity and he actually works to adopt this new Lucas Trent persona and to try to lead a somewhat normal life. Now let's go on to his new Stormwatch origin. So Martian Manhunter, Jack Hawksmore, and the projectionist go down to Earth to recruit the powerful Apollo. During this effort, uh, Midnighter actually gets the drop on all three of them and takes them down. He then offers a team up with Apollo because both of them are swaggy and would get the job done together. Midnight uh, Manhunter actually gets up and recruits both of them. He was kind of pretending to get knocked out. And he promised Stormwatch was cool for them because they don't mind killing bad guys unlike other lame superhero teams. So those are the origins of Midnighter. Now, let's power scale this gay badass of a fighter. Also, before this as a note, it is oftentimes a joke about his gay persona in the comics, and he often annoys people with gay comments. Like when he jokes Dick Grayson for having the nicest ass ever. Uh, I like this portrayal because it fits his nature and pokes fun at gay stereotypes and kind of puts him as one of the best trolls in comics. Uh, now, just how powerful is he? We will be scaling from a 1 to 10 in each category, with 10 being the highest. Now, first category we will talk about is Strength. I would place Midnighter at around a 6, with 10 and his universe being Superman types. Midnighter is well above human physicality, and we honestly don't really see an upper limit to his strength. Now, we see him get physically overpowered, but only by true powerhouses like Etrigan the Demon. Even still, he has the strength to stagger opponents like Apollo and to survive beefs with Red Lanterns, so his strength is not to be underestimated. Now, for speed and agility, I would actually give Midnighter a 6.5, and in his universe, characters like The Flash are 10s. Uh, this is mainly due to just how quick and deadly he can be. When he's trying, Midnighter has been able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Apollo and to tag a bloodlusted Martian Manhunter. He is also insanely hard to hit, as even the greatest DC swordsman in history, Harry Tanner, looked stupid trying to tag Midnighter. Uh, durability. I give Midnighter around a 6.5, with Superman types being a 10 in his universe. Midnighter has a decent healing factor, but his factor isn't really fleshed out that much. Like, we don't really know the, like, top he can reach for as far as being able to heal, as well as, like, what's a concrete time that it takes him to heal. Also, he has gotten up after hits from forces like Etrigan the Demon and Atrocitus, and Etrigan even admitted he respected Midnighter's toughness and ability to take a hit. Now, just to put Etrigan in perspective, this dude has knocked Superman to the moon before. So, maybe his form wasn't as powerful at that time, but he's still a powerhouse. Midnighter also has extra organs built into his body, and he can turn off his pain sensors so he can keep fighting through major injuries. Now, intelligence. In terms of combat and tactics, Midnighter is a 10 to me. His ability to analyze opponents and instantly know their abilities and the best way to go into a fight makes him as formidable as it gets when it comes to a battle. While he may not be a scholarly type, you want intelligence on the battlefield more than books in a fight. So that is where Midnighter excels. Uh, basically, because of his abilities, he is kind of like take the meme Batman with prep time that is base level Midnighter right there just to give you an idea how crazy he is now let's talk about skill I also give Midnighter a 10 in this category with characters like Ra's al Ghul and Deathstroke being the upper echelon of the DC universe I think Midnighter is underrated in actual fighting prowess because most people attribute his success to his precognition like abilities this understates his you know abilities as a fighter he has bested Prometheus, a fighter who has mastered the styles of the top DC fighters, and he did so without his uh, supercomputer abilities. He actually scares Batman, like Batman does not want a fade from Midnighter. He has easily put down Nightwing. He killed a man with a fork to the forehead while he threw this, and he threw this while he was falling from a building, and that guy was getting on a helicopter. He was able to take out the hero Grifter while Midnighter was actually blind. Midnighter has said he won't be he won't be seen by anyone unless he wants to be, which has regularly been supported in the comics. He has gotten the drop on Martian Manhunter and Jack Hawksmore, and in most stories which involve his team getting captured, 
he has escaped when no one else can. Just to show how deadly he is, one storyline saw the Bat family facing off with insanely deadly assassins. I want to say this was the mama storyline or the mother storyline, but I'm not actually, I don't remember it completely. I just remember the story itself. It only took two or three of these killers to occupy and nearly overwhelm Batman. So what did the Bat family do when they engaged the uh, assassins? Well, originally they sidelined Midnighter because of his killer nature and his wild, like his wild status. However, once they realized they couldn't take on so many high level foes, they teleported the assassins, not just a few of them, all of them to Midnighter's location. All of these assassins who had, you know, were about to overrun the Bat family surrounded Midnighter. And what was his reaction to this? He asked Bat how Batman knew it was his birthday, then proceeded to give the sauce to all of them while he was smiling. Overall, Midnighter is well above street level in terms of his deadly abilities, at least in my opinion. He is frequently underrated or not mentioned at all in the debate, debate community, which I think is sad. He essentially can win any fight if there is a way for him to win the fight. Now, if you want me to do actual versus battles that include Midnighter, or if you want me to go over his best moments in comics, let me know. Besides this, thank you for watching, like and subscribe, and please share my channel so I can gain support and grow. Uh, this is your boy, Sir Splash, and I hope y'all have a great day. Peace.